Hello everyone, Sanket here. Welcome to another video. Um, so one of our viewer had given a suggestion that why don't uh, you make a video where you are explaining the commands of these molecular uh, dynamics too. So I said okay, fine. Uh, so this video is all about understanding what these commands of your MD simulations or the Gromax mean. If you really want to know what MD simulations it and how actually it works, you can um, actually go and check out my videos on MD simulations which is there on uh, the uh, on my channel and in my playlist. Okay, so let us begin. So our first uh, command is basically for generating the topology of the proteins okay so uh, let's check it out so this is the command where we are uh, where it is grep minus v h o h so this was the first command in which we are cleaning our uh, pdb protein what is that so what does this command actually mean so grep minus v h o h 1 aki 1 aki dot pdb is the pdb uh, protein if you remember which we had downloaded from rcsb pdb if you open the rcsb pdb um, uh, that is 1 aki dot pdb i'm sorry uh, in your notepad okay this is how it's going to look like so if you see in the top okay these are the um, atoms of the amino acids for our uh, lysosome and um, yeah sorry and below here okay is your <clears throat> water molecules so can you see the heteroatoms uh, which are there and the HOH uh, molecules which are there these are your water molecules so now the question which will arise is um, now what actually we are doing in this step is we are removing these uh, water molecules here but then uh, in when we are doing performing the simulation we are anyway incorporating this protein in the water okay yes or no so why do we really need to remove these water molecules okay try and understand this water molecules which is present in our protein that is one aki protein these are all crystallized water molecules okay so your one aki dot pdb can be made because of your x-ray crystallography or by nmr if these crystallized water molecules they you incorporate them in your simulation which is there in this water simulation what can actually happen is this water molecule can hamper okay with your entire simulation so it can so happen that the gromax might feel that these uh, heteroatoms or these water molecules is a part of the protein Okay, so that is the reason and also and that's the reason it also will throw out some error. So that's the reason the best thing is to remove these water molecules. Okay, so how you do it is by using grep. Grep is basically a Linux command for deleting the lines. So we are deleting these lines here. We are deleting all the lines where HOH where HOH is actually present. What is minus V? We will be explaining, I'll be explaining to you in the further part of the videos what is there. Uh, one aki dot pdb is your normal uh, is the pdb which we have downloaded and we are converting it into one aki underscore clean dot pdb. Okay, so this is how you actually create the first step of your uh, topology file uh, that is create removing the heteroatoms or the water molecules. Now let's look at the next step. So the next step is where you create the processed file. So this is the command that is gmx pdb to gmx. You take the clean, you create a process command and then you add minus water spca. Now what do these command actually mean? Okay, let's find it out. Alright, so you have gmx pdb to gmx. So gmx here is a command where we are calling the gromax. So now you all must have installed the Gromax and the Gromax suite is installed in your Linux system in some drive. So when you type gmx, it calls those files, okay, these Gromax files which is there. 
and that's how the gromax gets executed so in this entire process okay of md simulations whenever you will see we'll be typing gmx because we will be uh, calling the gromax okay so we'll be basically importing whatever it is okay and we'll be basically running it that's why gmx calling gromax pdb to gmx as the name suggests okay you are converting this pdb to gmx or gromax okay minus f is your input file minus o is your output file so we'll be creating an output file which is 1ak underscore process dot co all right and finally you have this that is minus water spce okay so now what we are doing here okay is we are giving trying to add water now in gromax there is not one type of water there are various models of water to be very precise there are 46 distinct models of water which is there in gromax okay why so many different water models okay it's because of your system what you're using the biological system you're using so if you are using something like lysosome in water or protein in water we can go for spc spce or tip 3 if you are using something more complicated we could go for tip 4p if you are using some other biomolecule you could use some other water model so there are 46 water models which are there okay now frankly which model water model to use for what system um, the only suggestion I can give you is whatever you are working on read some papers regarding it okay whatever uh, water model they have mentioned in that paper you can um, use it for your system okay so so this is how you create the different water models if you want to know more about these water molecules you can go to this Dromax tutorial and then you can click uh, yeah you can click this tip 3 tip 4 spc you can click here it says yeah so this is your uh, window which will open for water models here you can uh, read more about what is water model and what are the parameters and uh, what are the various um, different water models which is uh, present okay so yeah all right so when you actually execute this step what all happens you have three files which are generated okay you have the topology file all right uh, then you have your position restraint file all right so what exactly is your position restraint file is as the name suggests is when you apply the force field so when you execute the step you will be applying the different force fields right like opls or charm or gromos so depending on what sort of force field you are going to apply the position of the atoms will be changing okay and the positions of the atoms will change in such a way that they reach an equilibrium uh, that they um, reach an equilibrium all right so uh, this is called as position restraint file now please one you thing you remember you can't use this position restraint.itp file for any other force fields okay for a particular force field is a particular uh, positive.itp okay uh, the third one is your post uh, process file which is nothing but your process.go uh, if you open this process.go it is very much similar to how your um, pdb file actually is okay but there are um, more uh, things about coordinates which are added to it okay so these are the three files which are generated after your first step that is generation of topology next step now is to create a simulation box around our protein okay so this is the command which you can see in, on your screen for the creation of the simulation box let's understand what this command says okay so gmx edit conf let's start with the first one gmx you are calling your gromax okay uh, to execute your gromax commands that's why we type gmx edit conf is editing the confirmation okay that's why edit conf minus f is your input file so here it's your 1ak underscore process dot grow which is the previous input file if you remember what is there minus o is your output file so here we'll be creating a new box dot output file 
minus c a minus d what do you mean by minus c a minus d so this is how actually your protein is going to look when you execute this command so this is your lysosome protein or any protein and this is the simulation box which is created around your biomolecule or around your protein which is there minus c what it does it it basically centers your protein in the simulation box so if you can see this is the center of the simulation box your protein is centered in that way minus d okay 1.0 so minus d is nothing but the distance 1.0 is from the center how much uh, you you want the distance to be of the edge okay so 1.0 nanometers here is your distance of the simulation box so basically it is 1.0 1.0 that is 2.0 nanometers and 2.0 nanometers so that's how big your simulation box is going to be okay and bt here stands for what shape you want all right so here it is cubic shape you can have circle you can have hexagon you can have uh, octagon so depending on what sort of biomolecule you are choosing you can choose the different shapes what is there ideally we go for the cubic one so this is your creation of the box step now let's add water so in this step is what we add the solvate or the water molecule now let's try and understand what this water molecule uh, what sorry what this uh, command actually stands for so gmx solvate gmx we are calling the gromax solvate because you are adding the solvate to it in this case is the water molecules minus cp stands for your yeah so this is how it's going to look you have your protein and the um, water which is around it cp here stands for the configuration of the proteins okay cs stands for the configuration of the solvent so configuration of the protein is basically your new box what we have taken which was there in the previous step cs is the configuration of the solvent now <clears throat> if you remember we had taken water molecule as spce okay so this spc 216.grow it it is a grow file which is not at all created when you are performing this okay so don't find it um, when you are actually installing your gromax suit and all these are all add on files which are added okay and what all these files contain spc 216.grow if you see this file it contains all the coordinates of the spce water molecule so like this you can see it has the entire dictionary of what water models it is how the coordinate should be so these water mod, uh, molecules which has been added in this solvent cube it's not added haphazardly okay there is a um, uh, there is a particular chemistry to it there is a, a uh, there is a particular uh, positions to it okay it's not just uh, there anyhow Okay, right. so uh, this is your spc 216.grow your minus o will be your output file which will be a solve.grow and minus p is if you remember it is your topology file that is the parameter minus p stands for your parameter or the topology file after you execute the command you will get something like this and then if you open the topology file this is and you scroll down this is how it's you, you'll see something of this sort protein underscore a is nothing but this protein sol here stands for your solvent molecules so 10832 solvent molecules are basically added to this entire uh, simulation box which is there if you would have increased from 1.0 to 2.0 as your nanometers then the number of solvation molecules would have doubled okay so this is how it happens okay uh, so understood how actually um, uh, what exactly does this command for adding the solvate what does it stand for okay all right now the next step is addition of the ions yes so gmx grom minus f ions dot mdb so this is your um, addition of the ions where you add uh, sodium and chloride ions to it so let's understand what the steps actually mean okay so there are two steps in addition of ions okay let's understand what the two steps are you have gmx grom okay gmx calling the gromax files grom 
what do you mean by grom grom actually stands for assembling the structure okay again this grom is something which you will be uh, seeing in many more uh, commands as you go ahead grom is very assembling the entire structure together okay minus f you are adding the input file here minus c minus c stands for your configuration file okay so your sol.grow is the configuration file what was done which is there in the previous step your minus p is your topology file your minus o is your output file so you we have your ions.tpr which is the output file which is created okay so this step is actually going to create the uh, tpr file for the ions what is there okay after uh, the tpr file okay is um, created the next step is where we are trying to now actually add the ions that is the sodium and the chloride ions in our system okay so first we created something what uh, you can call this as um, tpr contains the um, topology or the starting structure of basically your simulation so when we are running this simulation the first starting structure what is it okay it is present in this uh, tpr file okay so um, after you generate this uh, tpr file then what we need to is as i said you have to generate the ions so gmx here stands for again calling your bromax gen ion is nothing but generation of the ions okay this is the step minus s here is your structure or the state okay minus o is output all right so this is your output what we are going to get minus p is parameter file which is nothing but the topology file okay yeah one one thing i would like to tell you is that if you have performed then you would have actually understood every time when you do minus p top or the top your previous topology file gets updated so there is no new topology file which is formed it always and always gets updated okay so don't think that you will get about 10 to 15 topology files that okay it's an updation of every time so minus p name here is your positive ions name uh, because your sodium is positive and minus n is your negative ions that means chlorine is um, uh, because chlorine is negative and finally what we want to do is we want to create a neutral structure from this all right uh, now the reason for addition of these positive ions and negative ions is to be ba basically we liberate the entire system okay is to carry out equilibration basically all right uh, or stability to the system because if your um, um, if your protein or whatever biomolecule which you are incorporating into the water system if it has some specific charges uh, if it if it has some specific charges it can actually hamper with the surrounding water molecules and then the simulation what will come out will not be perfect okay that's why we need to completely uh, make that entire system neutral and that is the reason we add this iron step what is there all right so um, after this two steps are generated and when you open the topology file okay uh, you will see protein underscore a the solvation again you remember the first step we added the water molecules that is 10636 and then chlorine here is the eight um, molecules which is added now try and understand if you remember in the first uh, in the previous thing what we saw our what solvation molecules or solvent molecules were 10800 okay now what happens is because you have added this ions the number of ions which is there in your solvent has decreased why is basically to equilibrate everything all right so this is how it happens so you will see in the process you will see uh, add atoms being sorry molecules being added molecules being removed okay so this was your uh, step which was addition of the ions okay now the next step is where we are carrying out minimization of your protein so minimization basically has two steps uh, this is the first step where we are uh, where we are actually executing the um, minim.mdp command okay and uh, we are generating a tpr file again so uh, now you already know what exactly is a tpr file so every time this command is there we have a uh, tpr file or a topology file um, of the first uh, simulation what is generated okay so uh, let's understand what this command actually stands for okay so gmx gmx stands for your gromax so we are calling the gromax molecule here grom uh, i think if you remember it's your assembling of the structure minus f is your input file 
okay we are in uh, we are adding the input file here minus c if you remember it's the configuration file okay so minus c is your configuration file minus p is the topology file because it's the parameter file and minus o here is your tpr file see try and understand uh, from onwards you will always be having this tpr file will be generated why because we have now actually started with the simulation so every time you simulate you have an initial structure what is created based on that uh, taking that initial structure the entire further simulation keeps on happening so you so basically your tpr file contains the starting structure of your simulation i it put simply tpr file contains the starting structure of your simulation okay now after you generate the tpr file now next thing is you have to run this entire minimization step so you have gmx which is again you're calling the gromax md run is molecular dynamics run so you're trying to execute the your molecular dynamics minus v minus v stands for verbose okay uh, you remember we had also incorporated minus v in your previous uh, step which was there, the first ever step okay what does this minus v or verbose do i'll just show you one yeah can you see the steps okay at the top which is being generated if you have not put minus v you could not have seen the steps being generated okay and looking at the steps you can actually see how the energy is being changed so this is what is minus v or verbose Okay, so um, that's why it's always good to put a verbose. Okay, so you can see how the um, energy is getting minimized in the entire uh, steps and all. All right. So that's next is minus defnm. That is D E F F N M. All right. It defines your <coughs> file names, which is this input file names, and your output file names, which is being generated here. So in here you have E M. So you will have four types of um, output files being generated you will have a log file you will have a binary energy file you will have a trr file that is trajectory and a grow file uh, uh, friends just understand your e edr and trr are pretty important here because your edr tells you about the energy okay of your entire uh, simulation what has been generated and your trr gives you the trajectory okay so this these many steps which we did your uh, md simulations okay uh, for uh, sorry we did energy minimization for uh, uh, all of these steps so how actually the trajectory has gone how your energy has gone okay um, uh, if you remember the graph okay it goes down like this so that can only be visualized because of your edr and your edr and your trr okay so this is what is your energy minimization step the next step is your equilibration step one where we are carrying out nvt nvt stands for constant number of atoms which is n constant volume and constant temperature okay so let us see uh, so there are two again commands for nvt let's understand both the commands for carrying out the equilibration step one all right so it is gmx grom minus f so again gmx you know what it means we are calling the gromax grom is where you are assembling the structure minus f is your input file which is your nvt.mdp file in order to understand what is this mdp and how it works you can actually uh, go to my uh, previous videos on molecular dynamics and you can uh, check it out minus c stands for configuration what does minus r stand for minus r stands for your restraint potential so now we are adding some sort of a restraint to it okay so that um, the uh, because see now you are trying to add um, forces to it you are trying to add um, uh, various types of energetics to that molecule um, if you don't give restraint to it it will start you know wobbling here and there did you understand so that's why you need to add some sort of a restraint potential so em dot grow will be your restraint potential minus p will be your parameter file okay and minus o is your nvt dot tpr file again the tpr file you know the first structure for your simulation what is that next is your gmx okay so after you execute this your the next command which you have to do is gmx that is again calling the gromax md run that is molecular dynamics run minus def name okay and then nvt now this is going to generate nvt files for you
so this nvt files okay um, uh, you will have a simulation basically or you will have an output i'm sorry uh, which will uh, show the uh, which will uh, show us the trajectory uh, the trr file also it will have so it will have the trajectory or the simulation how your entire system that is your protein as well as the water molecules which is there around how the entire system works at constant uh, number of atoms at constant volume and at constant temperature okay now um, there is one thing which i wanted to show you okay is um, when we are doing this uh, mdp steps you can see this 50000 steps which is there so um, uh, what is this 50000 steps and um, what are these number of um, what is that called a uh, number of um, time scale which is there okay that picoseconds or nanoseconds what is it we'll actually see um, in the further slides okay so this is how your equilibration step one is carried out now let's do the equilibration step so the equilibration step two is for npt that is constant um you, uh, that is for constant number of atoms constant uh, pressure and constant temperature so now let's understand what this command actually says NPT command is very much similar to how your NVT command is. Okay, your GMX is nothing but you're calling your Gromax. Gromp is your assembling the structure. Minus F is your input file and of your NPT.MDP. Minus C is your configuration file for NVT.Grow. Minus R is your restraint potential, which will give you NVT.Grow. There's one something extra, which is your minus T. Minus T is the flag to include the previous checkpoint. Okay, so my NVT.CPT is what we had um, created in your previous uh, um, in the uh, previous step of equilibration one. So we are taking that checkpoint from there, and then from that point we are now going to further go ahead with your NPT. So we just want to take that same structure, and then from that point we are going to carry out the simulation for NPT. That is what is called as checkpoint. Okay. Minus P is your parameter, which is your topol dot top. Minus O is your output file. So you have NP, NPT dot TPR, which is the output file, which is generated. Okay. Next you have your GMX MD run. Okay. So GMX again is your Gromax. MD run is the molecular dynamics run, which is being there. And you have defname NPT. So similarly as your NVT, which is there, you will have the files for NPT, which is generated. Okay. So it's for equilibration one and equilibration two. It's exactly the same. Now it comes to the last step for molecular dynamics simulations. So this is the step for carrying out the MD simulations, which is GMX drop, and you have to run the MD and then the MD TPR file. So it's the first step and then is the death name step. So let's understand what this step for MD simulation stands for. So GMX stands for calling of your Gromax. Okay, uh, Gromp is assembling your structure minus F is your input file minus C is configuration. Uh, minus uh, T is the same thing. It is the flag point from where we are starting it. Minus P is your topology file. Minus O is the TPR file, which is the minus T, the T dot TPR or the topology. Uh, this is the uh, the starting structure of your simulation. So this TPR stands for the starting structure of the simulation. What is there? Okay. So um, after you execute this, you have the topology file which is generated. Now we have to carry out the actual MD simulation and that happens because of this step that is GMX MD run minus defname. Okay, after uh, so GMX again you're calling your Gromax MD run is molecular dynamic simulation running you're doing minus defname and MD underscore zero dot one. So this is going to help you create the same files which you created in the previous steps also. You will have a grow file, you will have an EDR file which is your energy file. You have a TRR file, which is your trajectory file. Okay, um, and uh, yeah, so these are the files which are generated. Okay, uh, after you execute this step. Now, uh, there's one more important thing which I wanted to tell you, which uh, if you remember I mentioned previously, that what is this steps and what is this time second? So if there are 500 steps, that means it is equal to one picosecond. If there are 5,000 steps, that means it's equal to the 10 picoseconds. If it is 50,000, that means 100 picoseconds. 500,000, that is, that is, it's close to 
thousand picosecond or one nanosecond and if you have 500 um, sorry if you have uh, 5 million that means it's close to your 10 nanoseconds okay now what it actually means is that in actual life if you are carrying out the uh, I mean in actual your uh, body for one picosecond how the protein is going to behave inside your cell that is simulated here did you understand so for one picosecond or for 10 picoseconds or for 100 picoseconds how the protein is actually going to behave inside your system can be seen using this MD simulation that is why we are talking about picoseconds that is why we are talking about nanoseconds okay uh, and as I had told you in the previous videos also of the MD which you have seen the more number of uh, nanoseconds or the more time you use it's going to take a lot of time for the simulation to take place uh, if you have a very good HPC or something you can um, perform this entire simulation in seconds also I mean one of the nature paper states that where they have performed simulations in seconds okay so um, yeah so uh, this is what was your final MD production run which was there so hope you have understood what are the various commands of MD simulations and what do they actually stand for. If you have any more suggestions to what all you want, okay, um, uh, you just you can comment below and I will start working on uh, those videos and on those lectures. So um, thank you very much. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and uh, take care and bye bye.